Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since I made a video on here. I actually haven't even checked when the last video was, but it's been very busy. Life has been crazy. Um, we have, I'm trying to think, I haven't done an update. Anyway, we, with Fourth Arc, with the brand, we have signed uh, a lease for a new shop out in Dundrum, which is why I have my camera on today because we have a site visit today. Uh, which I'm going to bring you along for. Um, it is currently, what time is it? Half ten, I need to get going. Um, I got up this morning and did a personal training session which I'm back in the gym the last kind of week, week and a half and I'm still finding it really tough. I'm waiting to kind of find my feet with it again. So I got up at 7 a.m., went and did my PT session, which was good, it was all weights, and then uh, we did boxing as well at the end, which I'm actually enjoying, I didn't think I would. Um, it gets out a lot of like, actually it's really tiring, we only do it for about 10 minutes at the very end, and uh, hey, you get a lot of frustration out, it's great. So I am um, dressed now, showered, quick turnaround, kids got, got dropped the kids to school, Paul let the staff into the office, and now we're gonna head over to Dundrum to meet Aoife, who is, um, she owns Movement, who are the company who are doing our fit out. So we're gonna go over, we have another, I think this is our third site visit. We have a couple of things to sign off on. And then um, I need to go back into the office and do uh, some orders for some future um, products that are coming and also um, work on some graphics for some new stuff. So it's a busy fourth arc day today. Some days I'm focused on kind of my own work and then some days I'm with fourth arc. So today is fourth arc um, and I'm gonna bring you along and show you what we get up to. Skyping off for a bit of lunch together. <laughs> um, yeah, we just had a meeting with Aoife from Movement and it went really good. We managed to save some money, which she's delighted about. <laughs> I'm usually the one spending it and he wants to save it. But um, yeah, all coming together really good. I've shown a couple of the plans in, uh, the in my, I keep saying stories because I think I'm on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to actually finally get cracking. We just need to get staff and uh, all our stock into it. But another couple of weeks. Yeah, that's all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. Lunch. We're gonna have some lunch. We're gonna have some lunch, and uh, we're in Jamie's Italian. And I've tried to be healthy in order to soup fruit salad, but I also got posh chips, <laughs> so I'm not so healthy anymore. But yes, a very busy meeting, very very busy day, productive day so far, and it's only twelve o'clock, so we're doing well. Just about to take off my makeup. I have had a busy day um, just working. My makeup is hanging off my face at this stage from masks and um, yeah, I just haven't done anything with my face all day. I'm actually gonna take my Fitbit off 
So I am gonna get cracking and take off my makeup with you guys because I didn't do any other content with you. I'm actually just gonna start with the pre-cleanse I'm using at the moment, the Clinique Take Off the Day. Um, it's great for just removing everything. My skin is not great at the moment again. Uh, just hormones as always. They just play havoc with my skin. I love this bit. Um, yeah, my skin just hasn't been great. It just flared up out of nowhere about two days ago. So I'm gonna do a little pamper session tonight. An at-home pamper session. Hang on, I'll chat to you again in a second when I get this off. Okay, so that's what I would call my pre-cleanse and now I'm gonna go in with my actual cleanser. So because my skin is a little bit sensitive at the moment, I'm gonna go in with a cleanser that I know just never um, kind of makes my skin react. And that is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. And I'm gonna use my Foreo. This is the Luna 3. Um, I absolutely love this. I use it every time I wash my face. I also have the Mini. Um, I've gone through the, the phases with Foreo. So I remember when I first got it, um, when I first bought my first one, it was years ago back in, um, oh my God, I can't even remember the year. It was, I know it was in America, it was in Sephora. And sorry, I'm just putting my little bit of my cleanser on. I'm gonna turn it on. Um, and I'm just gonna cleanse while I chat to you. So I had read so many reviews about them beforehand um, and it just gives the nicest deep, deep cleanse, but it's still really gentle on the skin. Um, so yeah, I used to watch a lot of reviews and things about them and how good they were. And now it's so lovely to be able to work with them. So this is a paid for kind of advertorial, I think they're called on YouTube, um, with Foreo. I work with them kind of quite regularly and it's just something that's part of my everyday routine so it's lovely to be able to work with a company that I genuinely adore and find really good sorry if the lighting is changing the sun is kind of coming and going here and um, this gives that proper deep cleanse I always double cleanse and um, because I wear makeup I just feel like it gets a proper deep clean I remember seeing a, a thing on Instagram I think it was it was like an, um, an orange and they put foundation on the orange so the, the orange skin was like the pores and it showed so that's just gone off now so i know i'm done it showed the difference between double cleansing and not double cleansing and the difference in your pores is insane so i'm just gonna rinse this off so that is my cleanser done um and my skin feels lovely and soft but it's not red or irritated i feel like with the foreo it exfoliates your skin without scrubbing it. So I feel like sometimes when you think about exfoliating, especially if your skin, if you break out and things like that, the last thing you want to do is be scrubbing it. But it gets a, such a deep clean into the pores and my skin feels beautiful. So because my skin needs a little bit of extra attention, I'm going to do my UFO tonight. So it's the Foreo UFO. It's absolutely brilliant. I've already spoken about this on my Instagram stories and I showed how I use it. I actually think I've been, it's an IGTV um, or a reel, but it's, I'll link it down below. Um, but I'm going to use their masks. These, this one here is the cannabis seed oil and it's for calming. I usually use the hydration one, but um, as I said, I think my skin needs to be calmed more than anything else. So I'm going to pop this on there. Um, I love this because it integrates with your phone through an app and it's a little two minute piece of heaven and it's like having a little home spa so what you do is you take off this piece on the back and you pop on your sheet I actually usually take some of the product I am at the end of this out of the packet and then rub it down my neck because you get a lot of product in it so this is what it looks like and you just attach it onto the back. So obviously you always make sure you do this onto clean skin, hence why I've double cleansed um, and I haven't put anything else on. And then you just attach the little um, plastic piece back on to secure it into place. And I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna connect it up with my phone and pick, it'll be able to, it basically scans the barcode on this so it knows what one you're doing and then it'll um, run the two minutes for you and tell you exactly what you need to do. So I'll show you that now. So I've just opened my Foreo app and I'm going to click UFO2, which is the one I'm using now. And then I'm going to hit treatments and it'll start to connect to your device. And then what you do then is you choose the mask that you're using. So I'm going to scroll across. I'll just wait. It loads up all, all the masks, masks that they have. And then this is the one I'm using, the cannabis seed oil. So I'm going to hit start. Secure the UFO activated mask to your device by clipping the attachment ring into place with the 4O logo facing up. And then it'll say start. Use a circular motion 
As you gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. Green LED light helps even out the skin tone, while low level T sonic pulsations prep skin to absorb the full benefits of the mask essence. T sonic pulsations increase as cyan LED light and cryotherapy calms irritated skin and helps reduce inflammation. Blue LED soothes skin, while cryotherapy locks in powerful antioxidants as T sonic pulsations gradually reduce for a gentle facial massage. So that's it finished. I'm going to take the little sheet off and pop that in the bin. And then what I like to do then is take whatever's left, which is actually a lot, like you'll see, there's a lot of product left in here. And I'll usually just layer that onto my skin because this stuff is amazing. Um, so I'm going to pop that all over. And then I'm going to go down and relax, let that sink into my skin. And that is my little pamper night. It's just so lovely and I find, I try to do it maybe, I use the, the Luna 2 or Luna 3, I use that every day um, for cleaning, like I use that as part of my cleanser. Um, but I find I use the UFO maybe twice a week or I particularly go to it when my skin, like now, needs that extra bit of attention. The cooling element of that is so lovely on breakouts because I feel like it just kind of helps to um, reduce the inflammation as well. So I'm going to go and switch off. Um, I wanted to show you more of my day, but it was just a little bit busy and not that interesting to vlog. I did tidy up my um, wardrobe area. So actually, do you know what? I'll show you that before I sign off. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that little pamper session. Um, I know I did. The house is nice and quiet, which is heaven. Remy is in going asleep. So fingers crossed she's asleep very quickly. I'm actually rubbing this into my hands as well because I feel like I never like to waste product. So whatever's left, I'll be rubbing it everywhere, all over me, um, just to get the best benefits. So we're home now and I said I'd just show you, I flew into Zara really quickly while we didn't have the kids um, and there wasn't a queue. And I picked up a few little bits, one being this gorgeous kind of linen mini dress. I just love, that's the back of it there. And then the front is just plain I didn't try anything on because I was in a bit of a rush but I will try that on I think it was how much was that oh it was 49.95 I definitely thought it was cheaper than that but anyway I'm um, hoping if we do get to go away this year or at some stage the weather gets nicer I'll wear that Um, I also picked up this pink kind of overshirt. Um, let me just le lean it out it's like a denim kind of feel super long really oversized actually because I got the extra small and it's still quite big that was, that one was 39.95. Love the shade of pink on this. I thought it was lovely, even with a pair of um, leggings, like a really kind of casual outfit and throwing that on over. It's really nice. And then sticking with the pink, I had spotted these online and uh, they were out of my size. So I picked them up in the store. They didn't actually have many left, but I got my size, which is a six in them. I just think they're gorgeous, even with like blue denim jeans and a little t-shirt. Um, Paul picked up some bits, but you know, it's so annoying. This always happens to him. Um, they left the security tag on it and it beeped when we went out the shop and we went back in and they were like, oh, don't worry, it's probably just on the shoes because sometimes the shoes set the thing off and we're like, okay, grand, but now we're going to have to go back and get that taken off from him. Um, he picked up a few shorts and stuff like that. What else did I get? Picked up a new notebook. I needed one um, because there's just a lot going on at the moment and I, all mine are kind of all separated and the kids have attacked them with, well, Remy has attacked them with a marker so I picked up one of those and then a few bits for the kids um, I got a new t-shirt for Harry and I got two little vests for the boys for Harry and Reuben for hopefully the summertime and um, I got a pair of sandals which I already have for Remy but she is growing out of them so I went up a size um, in these I thought they were super cute the little gold and then actually the star of the show is this jacket which I just love it's like a bomber style jacket it was in the men's section, but I love the colours. It's like a linen feel with the baby yellow and um, nude. And what size did it? I think they only come in small. Yeah. So I got the small. It was 59 95 Really nice though. It's like quite thick. Um, and I tried it on in store and loved it. So I picked that up. Actually, the men's have so many nice bits. They had like a gorgeous green 
bomber style jacket as well. So yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna put all these away and get cracking with the rest of my work. So this room is usually like a bomb went off, um, but I did actually manage to tidy it up today. It's not, obviously I like to have these neat, but I didn't have time to do that today. So I've got kind of shirts and blazers, all my trousers and jeans, uh, what's in here, knitwear, um, denim jackets. I've got some of my summery shoes, which I am dying to wear. Oh, that's freaking me out. Um, I'm dying to wear, I've got like Zara, H&M. These are lovely, they're from Ego, but they're super uncomfortable. Um, and then I've got H&M and more Zara. Um, and then on this side, I've got kind of long, I actually need to put them away. There's more coats and stuff there, but they're linen, so I didn't get rid of them yet. Um, I've got all jumpsuits and dresses and more kind of casual t-shirts. Uh, what else is here? Actually, I got this the other day, which I love. It's from uh, Rotate. And it's a nice, like a little kind of walking jacket, like a rain jacket, I love it. And it's um, it's kind of, reminds me of this one that I have from Zara as well, which is the Everlast one. I love those for throwing on on casual days. Um, and then I've got some dressy <laughs> stuff here, which isn't a lot, but we haven't been going anywhere. I'm not even gonna open here because it's actually, I'll kind of show you. It's full of stuff. Um, it needs to be cleared out. And then I've got some more shoes here. Um, over here, I've just got a little bit of extra storage for bags um this is obviously isn't we're renting this house so it's not how i would have my wardrobe but it does the job for now i've got more trainers and stuff here and um, this is me limiting what i have um so yeah it does the job it's absolutely amazing to have this kind of space here as well and um, but usually it's like a bomb went off so it is tidy for now